Pro Wrestling Central Illinois this week. I am Mega Circuit Prime Fighter. This week we're doing a Zero One Supreme. And have one of those uh, times where uh, all I have is long matches and nothing short enough. So we're going to be doing matches from two locations on this episode. Just uh, recently decided to uh, make a bit of a comeback. Austin's back, Daddy. Stuck here in poor man's decaters. So here he is coming in to uh, zero one. Actually, he uh, started training at the uh, zero one Supreme Dojo in Champaign when he uh, moved down there. Oh, he decided to uh, put the boots back on and uh, make a bit of a part-time comeback. Nothing that you would know. The question is, how much ring rust will he have to work off? Now, this is a triple threat, so things may be uh, a little easier. And here comes the third man in this match. PWA Heavyweight Champion Derek Moss won that match, well won the uh, title from Guy Smith and the original title has been retired. Derek Moss he will be carrying both belts but uh, the uh, championship will uh, undergo a bit of a change sometime in the near future. As to when, don't know. They are expected to uh, make an appearance at the Springfield Sliders on July the 9th. Don't know if we're going to unveil the change then or going to wait till September when they return to Lanfair High School. Well, this guy's nothing. Shut up, y'all are We don't care. He has no body of a god. He's bad. Shut up. And Andy Roberts. As a reminder, the first person to score a pinfall is declared the winner. Triple threat rules. If I wasn't now, I'm going to well, the question is, is there uh, disqualifications or counts going to be involved in this? Is it a hardcore match? We're going to see chairs, tables, or whatever. Or baseballs, or baseball bats. Well, Andy Roberts. Kind of talking big for his first, uh, first, uh, or second or third match back. This is the first time I've seen him back in the Andy Roberts was basically came out of uh, next generation wrestling in Peoria, trained at uh, that organization. Andy Roberts stalling for time here. Now Tony G, is, are we going to see him make his return to Pinball Wrestling Association since they're going to the Springfield Sliders game? I really wish. No, 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 no. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready. Pinball Wrestling Association would bring back Tony G. Get in the world. It's Tony G or Manny Roberts both locked up with him. Besides the lock up with the referee. Derek Moss. 
Ross makes a statement and is tired of the mouth running by Andy Roberts and just kicks him out of the ring. So right now these two old rivals, Derek Ross and Tony G. Tony G and Derek Ross had quite the feud in the what was pro wrestling glory. And Derek Moss steals the hat. And kicks it out of the ring and Tony G gonna bail as Andy Roberts sneaks back in. Tries to roll up but doesn't connect and gets arm dragged. Moss, send it Roberts for the ride, and there's a drop kick. And Tony G winds up and tries to throw a strike, but misses completely, and Moss sends Tony G to the outside again. I guess out in foul territory. Tony G and Roberts contemplating uh, maybe teaming up against Moss as Moss comes through. Oh no! Moss not quite as not quite having the timing down and gets himself caught up. And now the fight has been taken to the outside of the ring. As Moss gets double teamed by Tony G and Andy Roberts. And Derek Moss gets put back in as Roberts and Tony G. And they try and wear down Moss. Irish whip. Feels like missed. Oh, high knee and takes down Derek Moss. Tony G with a leg drop. And Tony G with another leg drop. Roberts. And a close line on the mat. And Tony G kind of continues the offense. Well, this particular weekend, not much going on as uh, wrestling events in Central Illinois are. No wrestling events in really the Central Illinois. You have to go quite a distance out to uh, find some wrestling action as a lot of promotions are taking uh, just not active in the uh, Give it to me again. latter half of June, first half of July. Go all the way down to Crossville to Strictly Insane for wrestling on the 25th of June. Or go to Vinci's, Indiana. Tri-State Wrestling. And there's a couple of events happening in uh, Central Missouri. That's just way out, way out of the area. First weekend in July. Well, we still have to go quite a distance for wrestling action. Global Force Wrestling coming to uh, Marion, Illinois at Rent One Park. Stride Pro Wrestling in Marion, Illinois the next day at the Illinois Star Center Mall. And New Experience Wrestling in a town called Moments, Illinois on the second. You would have really got it off your team. As Andy Roberts winding up and there's a just slugs Moss down. And only a two. Can't blame you. What are you doing? You tried to do what I had. I gotta do it. The body does what he wants. Second week in July is uh, when uh, things start to pick up again. Double team. Body double team. Yeah. As I do in limited, we'll be running in Noble, Illinois. Well, besides running every Tuesday. Besides running every Tuesday at their normal venue on uh, West South Street. We'll be running at uh, middle grade school on Friday night.
29, July the 8th, at NBA Unlimited. Well, I have a production to be running at the Knights of Columbus Hall. The old, the, uh, old digs. Grown out at home. The Royal Avenue in Albany. So I have a production to run Friday night. Head to head. It's a head to head thing. You guys are breaking my concentration! And more wrestling entertainment coming to Danville, Illinois on the 9th. Pinfall Wrestling Association, as I mentioned earlier, going to Robin Robin Stadium. As Tony G. Taking over on Derek Moss. Pick up. Body slam. You almost made an error. Second strike. You almost committed an error. Tony G working over Derek Moss here. Oh, if Derek Moss, the PWA heavyweight champion, maybe <laughs> be appropriate if uh, face a baseball player. Andy Roberts comes in. Looks like he wants some action here. Lauren Light suplex. And Tony G off the top with a headbutt against the, the thigh of Andy Roberts. Now this is every man for himself. Tony G going for the DET, but Andy Roberts picks up Tony G. Tony G got out of it. It's like these two men are still trying to decide if they're going to fight each other or fight Derek Moss. And decide to uh, turn their attention to Derek Moss and Derek Moss from the double clothesline. And Roberts goes down, as does G. And a drop kick. And Roberts stumbles back into the corner. And Tony G got to go for a DDT and can't latch on. So near the face of Tony G. Zero One Supreme will be uh, running its next event in August as part of Silicon in Mattoo at the mall. To get closer to the day, we'll talk more about it. As Tony G crashes into Andy Roberts and a double kick from Moss. And there's a cover. Moss gets out of the way and nails Tony G. Well, it's every man for himself. Didn't go for the cover. Not paying attention to Moss. And here comes a pretty buster! And that's gonna do it. And Tony G and I have a paying attention and fails to come in to break up the pinfall. Derek Moss easily wins another one here. It's an old rival and somebody that's making his comeback. 10 minutes and 10 seconds. Welcome back to professional wrestling. And welcome back, Andy Roberts. It's Derek Moss victorious here. In Maroa, want to see who he will defend the Peter Gray Heavyweight title against on July the 9th at Robert Robbins Stadium. But we shall be right back.
Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever wanted to be in the professional wrestling business, well, here is your chance now. Make sure to contact Pinfall Academy, 217-572-8054, located at the brand new facility at 101 North 4th Street in Auburn, Illinois. Pinfall Academy, where you can learn to be a wrestler, a referee, a manager, a valet, anything that has to do with professional wrestling, we'll teach you how to get it done. Pinfall Academy, where the new crop begins. Catch the latest episode of PWCI this week by going to our YouTube page at tiny.cc PWCI. Alright, shifting over to Matt 2. As I mentioned earlier, we just could not just have the bumps. I like to uh Showcase matches from the same location and same promotion. However, I just didn't have anything left over them. If I could fit in one episode. I mean, I have a bunch of matches that are like 20 minutes long, but nothing but less than 10. Meaning, I had to uh, fill the time with something else. I don't know if I'm... Uh, Sir Lair, I've got to uh, produce some uh, segments to uh, fill fill some time when uh, on an as needed basis. Just have it. I don't know. Maybe I can like come up with some uh, video game reviews of uh, wrestling games or something, or certain more editorial comments. Because there's, I mean, I'm not real big on talking about WWE issues or TNA issues, although certainly I'm not real thrilled with the, uh, the new brand split. I think it's a mistake. I don't think uh, the brand split, the new brand split, is going to do WWE any favors. Certainly, uh... WWE had a lot of talent lost last year, well, the last 12 months due to injuries, with the WrestleMania card at, uh, just suffering as a result. And of course TNA is having major, major problems as they're out of money, basically out of money. And a recent broadcast on their new pop TV channel. Major technical difficulties. They could not broadcast their show for... And they had to uh, basically an hour and... Gosh. 50 minute late start due to, uh, I guess, stormy weather in Georgia. And the same four commercials ran for like, yeah, an hour and 50 minutes. I mean, that was just lunacy. I've never seen such, I mean, TNA, I don't know how it's still in business. Everybody's pre been predicting the destruction of TNA for who knows how many years now. It's just a cockroach that keeps crawling out of the drain. Well, this match is Blake Reed versus uh, Alex Castle and Blake Reed. I don't know what his problem is. I can't imagine he's intimidated by Alex Castle. He's certainly not been uh, thrilled with the uh, the noise that the crowd here in Mattoon has been giving him. So he's just going to stall. Alex 
Castle, one half of the tag team known as Helter Skelter. Castle's been a member of other tag teams as well, including Project Mayhem of the Kentucky Buffet. And Castle, headlock on Reed, and a shoulder block. Castle ain't gonna knock him over. Well, Blake Reed telling Castle to give him another go and no dice. And a hard slap from Alex Castle. Plus I missed. Castle with four shots on Blake Reed. Way the mass again. Castle chop. Chops him in the corner. And Blake Reed gonna bail out again. As I mentioned earlier, Zero One will be returning to Mattoon. They will have their next event. Oh, look at this. Castle just nails. Reed on the outside. But Blake Reed just rams. Kessel against the ring apron. Yep, Blake Reed just a rough customer. Gonna stand up on Alex Castle. Jerry One will be returning to the mall in Mattoon on August the 20th for Silcon. Jordan Perry will be defending the Midwest X Division title slash World Junior Heavyweight Championship against the Cobra. That will be the main event. For that, for a Zero One's return to Silicon in that two at the mall as Blake Reed runs into a boot. Castle! Oh no! That move, whatever Castle just tried or did on Blake Reed had no effect whatsoever. I don't know what happened. If he just did not uh, connect with the. Uh, the maneuver he was trying. I think it was a some sort of face breaker on the knee, but Blake Reed just sh shrugged it off. Sending Castle into the ropes. Pick up side slam. And only a two. Zero One will also be celebrating its 10th anniversary on October 22nd in Mattoon. Zero One, the promotion that started as Supreme League of Wrestling, became a member of NWA Midwest as a NWA Supreme and then transitioned to a Zero One Supreme. As Blake Reed gets a knee to the grind. And Castle back on his feet. And slugs away. On Reed! And Reed just crashes in to Alex Castle and takes him down. Taking his 
time here. Big splash! And Alex Castle, very fortunate he was within arm's length of the bottom rope so he can grab onto it. I don't know how much protection that vest has for a 354 pound girth of Blake Reed. I guess he's 350 because uh, Reed did go on a quite an extensive uh, weight loss diet and slimmed down. If you can call it slimming down, he did lose several weight to get to about where he is. Blake Reed trying to get his footing on the ropes and just can't seem to get it. Now, and that splash off the middle rope. I mean, he couldn't get his footing. Taking way too long. Castle rolls out of the way. And Blake Reed crashes to the mat. Slowly trying to get up. He's still hurting. Now it comes after Reed with a forearm shot to the head. Another forearm shot to the head. Castle comes in again with a third forearm shot to the head. And oh my goodness. Blake Reed hulks up. Castle can't believe it. Reed with a splash in the corner. And Castle come with the high knee, but Reed answers. Come with another one. Now a super kick to the head. Kick out of that one. I think Reed is in uh, dis stunned disbelief as he rolls to the outside as Castle pulls it out in nine minutes and ten seconds. Here it is, here one's a green. I'll do it for this edition of PWCI this week. I'm your Mega Super Fire. We'll see you next time.